Hey, everybody. I've been reading this book by uh, David Weber and Timothy Zahn. They actually go through a whole thing in the introduction about how there's really three authors on it. Thomas Pope is in it as well. Uh, but they didn't give him credit on the cover because apparently if you have three authors, it, it hurts sales. So he doesn't get credit on the book cover until book two, which I'm not at yet. So I'm about a third of the way through the book. And it, it brought up two really interesting points to me that, by the way, David Weber, fantastic sci-fi writer, Timothy Zahn, fantastic sci-fi writer together, throw in Thomas Pope in there. Oh my God, it's like, it's a great book. I can't recommend it enough. Those two guys together should be like the dynamic duo of writing. They're like Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. They're what they are to the fantasy world is what these guys are to sci-fi. Um, the uh, Anyway, the book brings up two good points in the front third. is uh, It's a sci-fi book, so of course there's always some sort of military space component to it. And you got this guy going through the military school and he sees a lot of cheating going on. And he says, okay, I'm, I'm a rule follower, man. I'm going to go rat out the people who are cheating. So he goes to his commander and says, hey, these guys are cheating on tests. And the commander goes, we know. Happens all the time. And by the way, it doesn't really matter because once people get out of the military school, uh, it's, you know, we're going to have to train them for real once we get to the army and once we get to the, the Navy. Uh, so it doesn't really matter what they learn here is really not the way they're going to do business. So let's wait till we get to their main unit, which as a former academic and an engineer, uh, I get paid as an engineer in my degrees in, in science, but it, uh, as somebody who's worked in industry and in academia, it's interesting to me because especially on the industry side, we're like, okay, once people get out of school, we'll train them for real. Once you get out of school, now go get this certification. So it's, I, I, I question what the hell's the logic of the school, right? So why run the school if you have to train somebody when they get out to the real military or when they get out to academia or they get out to industry, if you have to train them in their job? Isn't that what they went to school for? So what the hell's the point of the school? But they can't get the job without the school, but the school sucks. So anyway, big long question in my head. The other thing it brings up is pretty cool and pretty interesting in my, my opinion is that the guy who was the whistleblower, it, it, they bring up the point that, hey, you know, we can't really punish the guys who are cheating because their families are politically well-connected or powerful. And that would be bad for my career. So I can't really yell at those guys because they're well-connected. Kind of looks like real life, doesn't it? I mean, how many times have we seen, oh, that guy knows that guy, so he can't really get in trouble. We're going to sweep that under the rug. Happens all the time. We don't care to admit it, but it does. Come on, let's face it. There are people who can get in trouble because they don't have those connections. There are people who ch can chop their ex-wife's head off and, you know, eventually get arrested for stealing stuff out of a hotel room. I'm sorry, I may not may or may not be talking about O.J. Simpson, um, but uh, allegedly chop his wife's ex-wife's head off. Uh, but anyway, so it brings up that question of can the politically well-connected really be brought to account on things? I don't know if you can or not. It's sort of a big question in my mind. Uh, but anyway, totally intrigued by this book. It's fantastic. I, I'm only a third of the way through it, but it has great promise. I can't wait to get to the rest of it. Uh, by the way, yeah, I know I'm wearing fantasy shirt with sci-fi stuff behind me. Those are my books. Um, but uh, hey, you're allowed to switch on those once in a while and, and read sci-fi or read fantasy. So um, I, I encourage anybody, if you're a reader, to, to switch it up now and again. It's kind of fun. Uh, so anyway, watch the channel. I'll be talking about this book some more, uh, probably the second one too. And then we're going to switch back to fantasy because I have a whole to be red stack that that uh, is uh, starting to get in front of me. So I have to, have to make some headway through it. Talk to everybody soon.